Hey everybody, it's Kay. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to Friday Reads. I recorded a bunch of videos last week, earlier this week, and when I went back to edit those videos and post them, I didn't like anything I saw. I didn't like anything I said. <laughs> so here I am recording several videos this afternoon. And so you'll see, you may see multiple videos with you know, me looking like this, but that's okay. This is the life of a booktuber, okay? So, I it's been a minute since I recorded anything, and that's because, you know, besides last week and, and earlier this week, but that's because I have actually been trying to read. <laughs> that's why I'm here, right? Okay, so I'm if I'm repeating some of the books that I've shared with you before, it's okay, is what I'm saying. So I think when we left off, it may have been the week or the weekend of my book club. I'm not sure, but let me just let me just wind back and 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 give you a list of of what I have read lately. Uh, Local Woman Missing by Mary Kubica. I'm not sure if I if I talked about this in my last video or not, but. I loved it. It was my first Mary Kubica novel, and it was so entertaining. It was so suspenseful, and I just really enjoyed that one. So if you've never read Mary Kubica, I would suggest start with that one. That's the first one I did. I liked it. I'm going to suggest and recommend it to you. Also, if you like thriller and suspense novels, that one is a great one. The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. This was my book club selection for August. We had a really good discussion on the book. One of the things I realized as I was reading, and this is not a spoiler, is that a lot of people that I've seen have been focusing on the passing part of the story where Stella, one of the twins, is passing for white. Um, and they focused on that and they say, well, they've read other books about passing that were better or more in-depth or whatever. But my thought when I read the book is you have to look a little deeper um, into the title of the book and into the lives of the characters and really think about the vanishing half and what it means. To me, it wasn't, that book wasn't about passing. It was about a lot more than that. And that's all I'll say. Falling by T.J. Newman. Falling is about an airline pilot whose family is kidnapped and he was he is told crash the plane or we'll kill your family. So that one was a, sp a suspenseful tale as well. Bamboozled by Jesus by Yvonne Orji. Bamboozled by Jesus, How God Tricked Me into the life of my dreams. I enjoyed this book. I thought it was really good. I am posting a review of this book on my other channel, K Reads the Word. So if you want to hear that review, you can check it out over there on that channel. But I, I like the book. A Stranger on the Beach by Michelle Campbell. In some ways, I love that book. In some ways I didn't, but I was fully entertained from start to finish. I I liked it. I I did. I thought it was really good. It was a suspenseful tale. It was a thriller. Um, I listened to the audiobook. I don't know how it would how it would come across reading, but listening to it, I really did like it. So those, those are the books I have logged on Goodreads. So what else did I want to share with you today? Oh, my next book club selection is One Day I Saw a Black King by J.D. Mason. I love this book. I'm so glad that we're reading it again. There is a prequel called Don't Want No Sugar. I suggest you read Don't Want No Sugar first and then come back and read One Day I Saw a Black King. So you can put all the pieces together. but and, and I think there are two more books after this one. But these first two, Don't Want No Sugar and One Day I Saw a Black King, love it. As a matter of fact, somebody told me they just finished this book and 
they cried. <laughs> it, it, it's J.D. Mason, to me, so underrated, but such good work. This, I, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, book haul. So this is a book club selection for next year. It is called Daughter of a Daughter of a Queen by Sarah Bird. I don't even know what it's about, honestly. Let me look at the at the back. Um, Kathy Williams was born in bondage, never allowed to consider herself a slave. According to her mother, she was a captive, destined by her noble warrior blood to escape the enemy. Her chance at freedom presents itself with the arrival of Union General Philip Henry Smashem Up Sheridan, the outcast of West Point who takes the raw-boned, prideful young woman into service. At war's end, having tasted freedom, Kathy refuses to return to servitude and makes the monumental decision to disguise herself as a man and join the Army's legendary Buffalo Soldiers. Alone now in the ultimate man's world, Kathy must fight not only for her survival and freedom, but she also vows to never give up on finding her mother, her little sister, and the love of the only man strong enough to win her heart. Inspired by the stunning true story of Private Williams, this American heroine comes to vivid life in a sweeping and magnificent tale about one woman's fight for freedom, respect, and independence okay so yeah now I promise you that was my first time reading that this again a book club selection for next year I don't want to wait till next year to read it but I, I try not to reread I try not to read too many book club selections too far ahead of time um, because I don't necessarily want to reread all of the books so I try to wait so the story is fresh in my mind but y'all, I can't wait to read this. Y'all know, th this book and the next one I'm about to show you, I don't normally read tomes. This one is how long? 509 pages. That's a lot to me. Y'all know, I started Some Sing, Some Cry in February, and I still haven't finished it. Okay? But this one, I don't always impulse buy based on bookstagram. But I did for this one um, because I, I had seen several interviews with the author prior to this book coming out. And I thought, you know what? I want to support. This is her first novel, I believe. She writes poetry. And it's a tome. Listen, it's huge. And I didn't know Oprah was going to pick this book, but she did. It is The Love Songs of W.E.B. Du Bois by... Honoré Fanon, Fanon, excuse me, Honoré Fanon Jeffers, and yeah, it, it's a chunker, but I started the book, and thus far, I'm, I'm liking what I'm reading, but I had to put it down to read One Day I Saw Black King, because y'all know I always get behind on my book club books, and this time I was like, no, I'm going to read the book club book first before I delve into everything else okay so I went to the library which I, I need to stay out of the library uh, because I always say I'm going to get one thing and I end up getting several books but I picked up a memoir somebody's daughter by Ashley C. Ford it's about a young woman whose father gets out of prison and um, that's all I know about the book I want to kind of do a blind read so to speak of that book. I have no idea what this one is about. I saw the cover and I picked it up. The Girl with the Stars in Her Eyes by, and I hope I don't mess up the author's name, Zhao Axelrod. This one is about um, Tony's grown up making a name for herself, Philadelphia's indie music scene. She tries out for an up and coming band, um, Strong Feminist and Fierce as Fire. She and the band are a perfect match. Um, but now her, I think her, an ex-companion is now her manager. And then it, it sounds like it's going to be um, romance mixed in with um, 
some growing pains. So anyway, I love the cover. I think it's beautiful. And I hope I can get to that one. These 14-day checkouts mess me up every time. Um, I love Linwood Barclay. Y'all have heard me say that a thousand times on this channel. I know you're sick to death of hearing me say it. But I love Linwood Barclay. And he has a new one out called Find You First. And it is, he writes suspense and thriller novels. And then finally, I have Home and Old Testament Commentary by Max Anders for the book of Proverbs because wisdom is essential, okay? I am still trying to learn and grow because, and I got a lot of learning, child, a lot of learning and growing to do. Um, hmm, hmm. One thing I would never do is come on and pretend to be something I'm not. I know I have a lot of work to do on myself. This is why I read the Bible, the commentaries, because I'm trying to do better. Goodness knows. Anyway, so Holman's commentary, Book of Proverbs. Um, I, I had checked out the one on Psalms, and it was very good, so I thought I'd give Proverbs a try. And I think that's everything. I don't think I have anything else I've given my all. Um, for this afternoon. So let me know down in the comments what you're reading. If you've read any of these books, if you like them, dislike them, whatever your thoughts are. Um, how was your how was your summer? You know, we're approaching Labor Day here. I did absolutely nothing for vacation. Take out a few hours here and there. I have nowhere to go for vacation. There's not anywhere I really want to go in the midst of everything that's going on. I'm just trying to stay as close to home as possible, trying to stay, stay safe, um, and I hope that you are too. So I've said a lot, and I just hope that you all have a blessed and a wonderful weekend. Remember to wash your hands, wear your mask, social distance as much as you can. There's no guarantee that you're not going to catch this thing, but let's do what we can to protect ourselves and our neighbors. Let's do that. So, I am so appreciative of all the new subscribers, and I hope that you all have a blessed and a wonderful day. Until next time, everybody, keep reading. Take care. Bye-bye.